Stop scrolling. Look at the solar panels on your neighbor's roof. They look high-tech, right? Wrong. They're actually kind of meh. Most solar panels today are made of silicon, and they've been stuck at about 20% efficiency for decades. They're like the flip phones of the energy world. But there is a new superhero material in town called perovskite, and it's about to make silicon look like a total slacker. You see, silicon is a picky eater. It's great at absorbing red and infrared light, but it just ignores most of the blue and UV light from the sun. It's like a person who only eats the crust of a pizza. Perovskite, on the other hand, loves blue light. So, engineers did the smart thing. They made a sandwich. It's called a perovskite silicon tandem cell. The perovskite sits on top and grabs the high-energy blue light, while the silicon sits underneath and catches the red light that passes through point one together, they've already smashed the 30% efficiency barrier in labs. That's 50% more power from the exact same amount of sunlight. But wait, it gets better. Silicon is expensive to make because you have to grow giant, perfect crystals in a furnace. Two perovskite? You can basically make it in a lab and print it onto a flexible sheet like you're printing a Sunday newspaper. We could literally have solar wallpaper or solar-powered windows that are completely transparent. Now, for the final boss problem. Perovskite is a bit of a drama queen. It's incredibly sensitive to moisture and heat. One drop of rain or a hot summer day used to be enough to turn a high-tech solar cell into a useless puddle of goo. Scientists are currently working on encapsulating these cells, basically giving them a high-tech raincoat to make them last for 25 years. Once they figure that out, the cost of electricity could drop so low that it won't even be worth charging you for it. We're talking about every car, every window, and every backpack becoming a power plant. The energy revolution isn't coming. It's being printed right now. If you learned something new like the video, would you paint your house with solar cells? Let me know in the comments and follow to see how we're going to power the future.